look at that. The sun is rising. What a perfect time to start playing some beach volleyball. So I know this is not the um, ideal location to set up a beach volleyball court, because if you're if you're like diving for a ball this way, well, you're gonna you're gonna fall off a cliff. So I try to mirror a real volleyball court, a real beach volleyball court, because beach volleyball courts are different from indoor volleyball courts. So in beach, the dimensions for the court is 8 meters by 16 meters. So I was gonna make this sandy part 8 by 16 blocks. However, I needed an odd number to put the um, net pole up. So I did 8 by 17 instead, which means this is the eighth block from the end line. All right, and then as for the net, these are end rods. Um, depending on how you place them, you get these like nodes at different parts. So if you place an end rod like that, the node is gonna be farther away from you. So if you want the node on the other side, you have to like uh, build block up and um, place it like that. So I ended up alternating the two long rods of end rods because I think it looks cooler this way and it kind of reminds me of a volleyball net, just a little bit. All right, next up are these um, supports, I guess. So if you were to do this on your survival world, um, you're gonna need four leashes and four chickens. I'm gonna show you this side because it's a little bit easier. What I did is I did two diagonal blocks from the pole. And there you go, a little chicken. It's a tad cruel in the um, animal abuse department but it kind of looks cool. I feel like what I just said could be applied to a lot of different industries in the world right now. So you attach the leash onto the chicken and onto this fence post, um, and you can do the same. Apparently you can add more than one lead onto the same fence. I did not know that, but um, I found out today, so that's cool. So you do the same thing on the other side, and now you've got yourself a fancy little volleyball net. It's pretty cool. All right, over here I just added some additional bits and pieces. As you can see, we have two umbrellas, even though we're not technically at the beach. Um, I thought some umbrellas would give it a nice touch. So besides the umbrellas, we have a foldable chair. Um, <laughs> yeah, cool. We got ourselves a towel. So I made this umbrella with carpets, but you can't just place carpet in the air. So as you can see, I have a ring of string kind of just around there. It's kind of annoying, but you know, from afar, you can't see it. So for this umbrella, it's very easy. One piece of whatever colored carpet you want up there. And for banners, you can just right click on this top fence post. So, I just put this chest here for volleyballs. Woo! So this court isn't particularly playable. I can't even throw a volleyball over the net. But you could do something like... <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. could just like punch the chicken over the net. It's kind of not fun for everybody involved. I think it's kind of stuck. Oh yeah, uh, that didn't really work out. I have tried another way which I don't know how practical it is in um, survival Minecraft. So these slimes are the volleyball um, and you can kind of just like <laughs> oh no! Like I said, not very practical in survival, but super entertaining and creative, and it's kind of funny. There we go. Oh! Huh. So one 
advantage with using end rods for the net is that they emit light so you don't actually need any like additional light sources so there's your court all lit up there's a slime just chilling or should i say volleyball that's just running away all right so that's pretty much it for this build it's getting late gotta go home gotta get my sleep in if you have any questions leave them in the comments if you liked it cool i'm glad <laughs> um you can probably use this same setup or a similar net setup if you wanted to build an indoor volleyball court in minecraft um but yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later